Hey guys, uh, Guns and Knives here. I'm gonna tell you guys, well, teach you guys if you don't know already how to interchange your barrels on a Mossberg 835 Utilimag, Mossberg 500, Mossberg 590, I think it is, and a bunch of other ones. Pretty much any Mossberg gun that I can think of right now has an interchangeable barrel. Um, if you're lucky, you have the Flex series. I really wanted to pick one up, but local gun store didn't have it. So, I got my 835 here. 12 gauge 835, and I'm going to show you how to interchange the barrels. First things first. Right now, I just have a 12 gauge birdshot, buckshot, you know, anything like that. Nothing that's a slug. That's what I'm going to be changing it to. I'm going to change it to a slug barrel. Um, right now, I have my choke on it. It's a full choke for turkey. Alright, so first thing you want to do, unscrew your cap here. Um, the 835 Utilimag, that's what this gun is in particular. It comes with two barrels. It has this barrel that I'm holding right now, and it comes with the choke on it too. Um, at least mine did. Uh, yeah, it's full choke for turkey. It's actually a turkey choke. That's what they call it. And smooth bore, and then the other one's a rifled slug barrel. It comes with those two barrels. Alright, so now that you've taken your cap up, just want to go ahead and slides right out. It's as easy as that. Comes right off. And this is my slug barrel. It does have a rail on it. If you want to mount any optics or anything on that. Because to make it legal where I hunt, I hunt in New Jersey. So to make it legal, I have to have an optic on it. It doesn't have to be iron sights in particular, it just has to be optics. So now, you're just going to drop this one right in place, right on top of here. Now you're going to notice it's not going to go down all the way, and you're probably going to get kind of mad the first time I did it, I got pretty pissed, because like, why isn't this going down, is it broke, and am I going to have to take it back tomorrow and figure out what's wrong? But no. If it's not going down all the way, as you can see this one is not, because it's not properly screwed in, all you have to do is go like this, put your little button here. Slide that down. Once you slide that down, it should just pop right in. You may have to twist it a little bit because this is the rifle barrel. It does have a rail on top, so you have to. There you go. You have to get it straight, and then once you get it on, slide that back up. Make sure that your safety is on. Oops, sorry, guys. Gotta slide this back down for a second. There we go. Make sure it's all the way down because. I didn't have it all the way down, I could have had a serious accident if I wanted to go shoot it and it wasn't all the way down. Alright. And just put your cap back on. I hate doing these caps because I can never line them up right for some fucked up reason. Now if you did buy 835 Utilimag, it is plugged. Um, so you can only have two in here and then one in the chamber. Yeah. So. All you gotta do is screw this cap back on, put in some rounds, lock and load, and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Guns and nerves. See you guys next time.